Hello, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Gloomhaven Guildmaster playthrough on insane mode. Last time we did a scenario with, uh, well, our ragtag group of the lowest uh, levels and it was pretty successful. We were able to do what we wanted. This arm helped a lot and the fact there was no ranged enemies and the uh, frost demons didn't roll ranged attacks if they do have any. But this time we'll be doing a relic quest, which I decided it's a super hard one, is this one here. But first we're gonna level up our character, so let's do that. So Brute is now level 4. Unstoppable charge, attack 5, 1 experience. Move 4, stun, target all adjacent enemies. Okay, okay. Devastating hack, attack 8, Free experience loot one. Okay, so I guess Brute has some pretty hard attacks in his assortment, but you need to do some cards for it. Oh. I don't think I saw free experience on any other card, by the way. Uh, on the next three sources of damage, two suffer no damage instead. Uh, this one on the bottom is also really nice. So I'm the Baiting between that and this one. Attack 5 and repeatable experience. Um, I'll take this on the bottom. This is a premium ability. If we end up against something that cannot be stunned or disarmed and does massive amounts of damage, we'll be happy to have it. So this two will have to wait. Okay, now we can become a Juggernaut, yep, and this is like free experience also, you just pop it and yep, let enemies uh, unleash on you. So what can we drop in favor of that? Well, we still need some heals for our achievements, so not that one. Push is good. Another push. Um, oh, we have push on the butt. Um, so we don't really use this much because it doesn't give any experience on top so let's go for this instead okay as for the perk as for the perk let's see we have that one uh, okay can we get rid of minus two we can't can we get rid of zeros we can't so let's replace a minus one with a plus one I guess to start with. Okay, Brutes per game is not the best one. I mean, he does have some chains here, but with so many zeros still in the deck and no dust to remove it. <laughs> okay, Plague Herald. Plague Herald has reached level 4. Storm of Wings, attack 4, oh by the way, play cards is just a bunch of bugs flying inside this rope, so... Storm of Wings, attack 4 range 4, additionally target all enemies miss on the path to the primary target. Okay, similar to Earth uh, Spikes or whatever. Not really the best card. Unless we can increase the range and hit like 1 million enemies, uh, okay. Nightmarish Affliction, attack 1, range 3, target 2, poison, curse, dark, immobilize, range 2, well I like this card, immobilize 2 targets on the bottom and curse 2 targets on the top, yep, we can also increase the number of targets so that's good, we can put a disarm on it as well if we want to, but that might get pricey I think if we enchant both of this, but let's see, I'll adjust ok and well, just normal enemy. Bless effect of Alice with poison. Well, that's interesting. By poison be blessed. Okay, let's take this nightmarish infliction I like. For filling up the curses in the enemy decks. And immobilize is cool also. Uh, I think we're gonna remove our curse now. One non-experienced card for another. We still have a way to curse enemies if we want. And yeah. Okay. As for the. Well, we took this one already, so we might as well continue. It was probably a 
a good choice, right? Okay, well, now we would like to... Well, we can't remove cards from the deck, so these two stuns will not come so often, but when they do, they're great. Summoner has reached level 4. Living Mountain, summon a Rock Colossus, 7 HP, free attack, and create Earth. Well, alright, but don't call me impressed. Divided Mind, 2 summon allies within range 2 perform move plus 0 with you controlling the actions, okay? 2 summon allies within range 2 perform attack plus 0 with you controlling the actions. Well, I like the bottom part of this card. Summon Slime Spirit. Attack free, range free, mobilize, and also curse on dark. Tear the fabric, kill all normal, kill all normal adjacent enemies whose current hit point value is less than or equal to five. All this goes down in value as we level up. So, I'll take this. It's an easy experience on the bottom with our torn shooters. So, um, well, this is great great initiative but I'm very disappointed this one didn't work or at least I think it didn't maybe I'm reading something wrong but yeah I mean it is nice movement so maybe we keep it for that but no more top well this one is for movement but a very nice top though so first one enemy well, it's a heal. Okay, well, we need that one. Yeah, this one. Okay. Cool. And here, ignore negative scenario effects. Well, we removed minus ones. Well, we can get rid of this pesky minus two, though. That's probably a good idea. Okay, let's do that. Well, we don't take elements a lot in perks because we can just enchant them and get them when we actually need them okay let's take a quick trip to the trainer here um, did we kill something yes we did okay did we unlock a new relic we didn't oh i have to remember this night demons sun demons night demons sun demons okay the brute prevents 50 attack damage with shield condition okay cool so we got that one out of the way uh Oh, well, I don't really know. Disarm and model. A target. Well, a target is usually not what we need on Brute. Add one plus one shield self card. Uh, it's just a vanilla tank. That's all what it is. Uh, yeah, let's take this one, I guess. Okay, so for the mission. Oh, let me just take a quick look at the Temple of Great Oak. So, we got our devotion to 60, but it doesn't seem like anything is happening here, so... You can't see that? Huh. I got plenty of gold, we could bless people, but we go to devotion 1. Well, maybe they still have to add some content there, or maybe it's just bugged, I don't know. So. It's a trap. We need to survive 10 more rounds. That's the hardest level for us. There is also one ornate chest we have to loot to win. So that's annoying. All heroes and summons take one damage at the end of each turn. And all heroes and summons are permanently strengthened. Well, we have some... Uh, uh, Ways maybe to kill this without, um, without kind of cheesing it. Let's call it like that. So usually in these kind of missions, I take Cray Cart, lay down a bunch of stones. I take Sunkeeper, make us invulnerable for one turn. I take Quartermaster to return cards, and yeah, we fill up the map and then yeah, kill the archers if we can and.
So yeah, we'll probably do it like that. I mean, that's why we have our strong group, right? For these kind of hard missions. So, quick card. And then Tinker has to come. I would like to loot a chest with our Quartermaster. Amazing how these are all super equipped. And I want to take our Sun Keeper as well. Oh, there you go. I don't think we'll need to get anything else really here. So let's just go. Our uh, commando group, which we carefully leveled up. But now the enemies will have like 1 million HP. So we are level 5 now, party level. So enemies will be level 7. 15, 23, 19, 23, 27 HP. And we don't have the night shroud to kill the numbers. So... Mm. Maybe we don't take one of these, but who though? That's a hard decision. Well, in this kind of setup, probably the Sun Keeper. Tinker has to come, that's the thing. Otherwise we would leave him behind. And maybe just in case we can put like local invisibility on it. So, yeah, we can, <laughs> if things start going really bad, we can just make him invisible and stand in corner, watch everyone else die while we finish. But we need to loot that ornate chest. So the quartermaster... Mm. Well... Pure of Nar Arrows on Quakeheart is really nice, although I don't know if we'll be killing stuff with him, considering how much HP enemies got. Yeah, I think our... Uh, the Night Shroud is the best bet here. So, Quartermaster, you can... Uh... We have, like, lots more Relic Quests, let's see. Kill all enemies in all rooms, kill all enemies in all rooms, kill all enemies in all rooms, kill which dungeon exit for mercenaries. Okay. So there's plenty of well we have some kind of cannon there, alright. There are missions where you can loot those chests for achievements, so sorry, but I feel like we need night shroud for this one. We only have a minor stamina potion though, but uh, that should be good enough, I think. Okay, let's go. Lucy, if one Tinker die, what if two Tinkers die? It's a trap. You are to go to a meeting in the Eastern Forest to discuss with the local tribe on how they can be convinced to stop selling traps on the open market. The Tinker needs to be present to check the traps. Survive 10 rounds, 10 more rounds, loot one on a chest to win, lose if one Tinker die. All heroes and summons take one damage at the end of each turn. Well, that's a bit annoying. All heroes and summons are permanently strengthened. Well, that's good though. Although I'm not sure if I'm gonna pull up the big attack, but uh, we might, we might. Encounter. Tired of traversing of tedious route around the dense forest, you contemplate taking a path straight through the maze of branches to shorten your journey time considerably. You'll notice a slight clearing behind the bushes up ahead that could prove to be a shortcut through the dense forest. Well, let's try it, why not? The Clearing continues on through the forest and you're pleased to make it through to the other side. At the forest's edge, you're just about to rejoin the road when you notice a small patch of bushes nearby. Adorned with strange purple berries, we're not gonna eat the berries. After mulling it over, you decide it's perhaps best to continue down the road. Berries might be poison and for this mission I would like to go in with the best chances I have. You head to the sloshed twirl, but before you reach the building, you hear movement from the forest of the path and psst, this way. A younger Enox introduces himself and explains that he's there to guide you to the meeting point. You don't quite understand the reason for the clandestine meeting, but follow him anyway to a clearing in the depths of the woodland. He prepares you some herbal tea and says the others will arrive shortly. Not wishing to be impolite, you drink your tea, but as soon as the mugs are finished, you regret your choice as your stomachs are racked with pain. A large female Enoch steps out from the tree line. Well, 
we made a mistake well on these ones doesn't matter what we take because they're over the max level and here well we can kill an elite and here well gain 13 or more experience points well that's not gonna happen but let's take it anyway well these are basically almost nine so we don't really care about experience on them what we get we get we focus on other things so we got into a trap and yeah it was kind of obvious but you know sometimes things seem obvious to you when you know it's a game and maybe in the real world you would walk into it anyway so yeah let's not be like all uh, superior here and Admit that we are all just humans and sometimes mistakes are made. So let's see if we made a mistake with taking this part here or we could have done it with the other one. How dare you come here and lecture us on who we can or cannot sell our goods to. You maim and kill the denizens of the forest at will, now you shall feel what it is to be hunted. The peculiar mix in the team means you will not only lose health at the end of every round, but that for the duration of the fight you are strengthened too. By the way, that chest over there, it has the same markings as the traps we keep finding. We can leave here we can't leave here without finding what's inside. Well this this mission is uh, stupidly hard, it seems. Um so I, I don't get it, like you get some easy missions and then you get things like this. What is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 enemies and out of those 11 I see 2 shamans, 3 shamans, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 archers. How are we even supposed to survive this is beyond me. So I mean we're gonna survive it because... Yeah, I'll probably survive it because we have a strong, kind of strong group. Uh, we don't have the tornado enchanted though, so that's gonna make it a bit harder, but... Right, uh, we need to pick up that chest. Well, his job is probably to go and kill the shamans and the archers. I probably want to make us invulnerable to damage also, well, maybe not on the first turn, but relatively soon. Um, yeah, well, we only need to survive for 10 rounds in whatever way, shape or form we can. We can make like a fort here, like here, here and here, so these melee dudes can only come inside here. Now there are two spawnings turn so that's not too bad usually there's three maybe it would be only one if we took a weaker group in but there would be still a lot of enemies so I'm not sure how I'd handle that uh, so well we could start with shielding ourselves making ourselves the target To put the pressure off and then oh, we can start killing off shamans or maybe maybe archer elites shamans sometimes don't do anything like they do heal which will not care too much in this mission Uh, we could try to do a bunch of damage here. Uh, we are strengthened, so if we do like... Um, <laughs> if we do a backup ammunition... Yeah. Maybe we can kill something here. Thing is, we are not too happy about doing kills here because there are in guard elites so uh, it's not like shaman would be a vertical kill though 27 hp 
So let's see. This is plus two. And our plant destruction is four. So that's six, eight, nine. And we can make it plus two more. So that's 11. And we can double it. So that's 22. So if we target two of these, we'll do a lot of damage here. Well, I want to target him for sure. And then the other targets doesn't matter. One of these, I guess. Would be cooler if there were more people nearby. So, but not sure how I can orchestrate that. So maybe we do that next turn when they clump up a bit. Hopefully these two archers don't get to move. That would be a nice thing. Um, so here... Oh, we could start off by killing this one. I mean, he is not in this original clump, so... We have enough movement. And we can also loot the chest shortly after that. So if we do a smoke step, that's two movement, one, two, and we have boots for two more. So one, two, three, four, we can kill that one. She goes before us and we'll create the element, so that's all right. Is that a normal or elite elite? So we have to do swallowed by fear. Oh, okay, that's fine. Well, she will shield it up, I guess. Uh, we can also do, if we have it. Oh, we removed it, right? Yeah, we removed it, okay. We had the passive shield, which shield us the whole time. Oh, it could go with that. And then you. Oh, we also have chimeric formula. With chimeric formula and hers, um, where is it? This one. We can basically make ourselves invincible each turn. That's interesting, actually. I wonder if he can pull that off. <laughs> I want to try it. Um, so as long as they go slower than us, they will not be able to damage us. Yeah, let's do that. Let's make everyone here invulnerable to damage. The night shroud, though, night shroud, though, he's gonna be exposed a bit. We can go 90. So, yeah. Okay. Then, well, we would like to make some rocks. Just to make them clump up a bit more. And well, now we could do blind destruction without any like super bonuses or anything. I mean, it will be some nice damage and it will add up over time. And we can return cards anyway, so although, problem is. We need a good bottom, not a top. Oh, we can also do that. Avalanche. Oh, that's good. Although, with this setup here, these two spaces will probably be taken by the time we get our turn, so... Uh... But yeah, let's do it anyway, I guess. What about you? Well, you could go fast and like go here. No, you have to go here. If you go here or here, so they clump up around you so we can still avalanche. Okay. It's not too super important, but you know, why not? Should we return her the card so she can do it next turn as well? She 
she will go she will burn through things really fast though so we have to keep that in mind one ally within range 3 may choose an unequipped card from their class to up to their current level and add it to their hand this effect lasts until the end of the scenario okay what else can we do yeah let's do that let's go here Although I'm not even sure I'm doing that, but okay. Uh, does the this have jump? No, it doesn't. So if you put traps down here, it, he will not be able to move anyway. So I don't know why I'm just so stuck to do this avalanche properly here. Uh, it's a crazy idea. Um. We could also go slow and recover his cards. Actually, let's start off. Let's start the gas canister going. That's really good. Yeah. And return her invincibility. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Well, interesting plan here. Oh, shamans are fast though, so they will get some attacks off, and they also disarm, okay. Oh, alright. So what do these do? Oh, they attack. Well, everyone does damage. So interesting how these positions in the line here. So I'm not gonna be. It's not gonna be super easy to perform what we wanted. But okay. Well, let's protect ourselves from damage, I guess. And retaliate. Okay, game is going crazy a bit. Right, and we need to create elements for our dude. So let's see. We need dark for sure, and then... I don't know what else, but let's make... Well, we can make frost for the tinker next turn if we don't use it. Okay. Well, I do feel like healing for the next turn if the same thing happens again. Um, yeah, refresh that one as well. Oh, we did it in the wrong order, doesn't matter. Okay. Well, at least we ignore the negative scenario effect, so that's something. Oh, you cannot do anything to me. I'm like the wall of righteousness. We used bubble on everyone. The bubble. What was the name? Divination aura, was it? Something. Paladin's bubble. It prevents all the damage taken. Okay, well. Do they always burn two cards? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, wait. I messed that up. She still has it active. Uh, can I remove it now? Well, it's not a good idea. So we have to lose two cards now. Well, that was uh, <laughs> the stupidest move I ever made. Um... So yeah, that's why we can't do that. Okay, we'll deal. We'll deal with it. Okay, that one and that one. Let's make it a bit harder on ourselves, shall we? Okay. Uh, let's return that. I mean, that's gonna be good, but not this turn. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, return the card. Well, nothing to return to him yet. Well, nothing to return to anyone yet. So. 
so I'm just gonna skip it. Oh, we healed for a lot with that one turn, so. Uh, so let's see now. Oh, we would like to do that. And well, we are kind of in a stupid situation, but let's do the rock slide anyway. Well, we can do there. That's going to do a lot of damage. Not sure if I'm going to utilize that, but... Start closing things off. Okay, and let's return these. Go. Should have went slower with the Tinker, and then that combo and everything would work better. But okay, delete the cry now. Um. Oh, we could also get rid of these. Well, probably not. It's a good idea. Well. What's that? Oh, that's an Enix card. 2016. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's go get rid of that Archer Elite. And for next turn, I'm gonna create fire. There we go. So, we're gonna eat what? Oh. Well, maybe not frost. Light. Yeah, sure. Let's do light. There we go. Uh, let's return this followed by fear. There we go. I want to do the shaman, so also that's kind of important. Oof, there's actually uh, wolves in this forest. Okay, another Inux archer, right? So, let's see. Well, I would like to make some more rocks like here here and here and then we have only one entrance but then we have to deal with this ones and well i'm sure we can somehow well this turn we have to deal with all the damage so no protective blessing or we could leave this one open like if you decide to kill something here Oh, another archer? Well, maybe. So, we do another rock slide. Well, jump on this would be really nice. Now that I think about it. Or well, we could go for damage now, maybe. Ugh, it's kind of hard. So many strong enemies. We should probably focus uh, the elite archers. So if you do that, you're gonna go fast. Well, you can also do that. Create a dark next turn. We could also go invisible. That's something to think about. I don't know if anyone can create dark though, so he's next turn. But if we do go invisible, we'll be safe, which is important, otherwise we just get destroyed this turn, so... Let's go invisible, and let's swallow by fear this one here, probably. And let's see. She can shield for one, it's not a lot, but it does help. Mm. 
Tinker. Well, we can stun shot. Well, we let this one come in. That was bad. We should have went fast and closed it off a bit. So now we're paying the price for that. I almost feel like I have to try to kill these three. Otherwise, it's a huge mess here. They are not well positioned though. If they were in the triangle, that would be a good decision. But like this, uh, not so great one. So if you're doing a rock slide here, we should probably go fast this time. So the, although it is a bit late. Yeah, not much to do here. On Tinker, we should give the card back. So next turn we go invulnerable at least. I mean, she will burn out pretty fast, but... I think it's worth it. Well, I'm just telling me immediately perform one extra turn. Now we can give a turn to somebody, so that's good. If you give it to Crackheart, um, well, this one is 16. Well, two shamans and an archer. Well, we could go for that there. So let's say if we get an extra turn here, with the extra turn, we can do a backup ammunition. We already have that and We can do backup ammunition with the extra turn and maybe... Are we in range though for blind extraction? One, two, three, four. Yeah, we can target these two. We are. Mm. Or we can go for these three, but that will damage her a lot. We can kill one normal enemy with Petrify. Well, that one is a normal... Uh, okay. Oh, we can give all the allies shield too. That's also good. Yeah, we should probably do this. Shield 2 and backup ammunition. And then she will give him another turn. And he can do a blind destruction. And brutal momentum. Okay, let's do that. Okay, you're gonna return her the cards. And well, let, let's return the, the brute. Well, not the brute, the crack heart, also his uh, cards. And we're gonna return hers. Well, extra move and yeah that's gonna be good okay well shamans go fast again they target two people and they curse Ugh, that's bad that's like super bad if we lose it's because of this move here yep so we might have to redo it because of what just happened We'll see. Maybe we don't draw the curse. That's the only hope I have. And the uh, ability proved in the past to like like to fizzle out. We should draw two cards, but we don't for some reason. I don't even know what that's all about. Maybe we should uh, start with shamans, now that I think about it. Okay, well... Let's do that. What are these doing? Yeah, they're attacking for a lot, so let's shield all the allies. Okay. 
so now she's gonna give us another turn. Yeah, so let's do brutal momentum and blind destruction and hope for the best. So that first. Okay. Well, we are strengthened, but let's do that anyway, just for the lulls. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, we did the... Uh, I forgot I had the ropes. Okay, well, that's a good one. And that's a good one. Okay. Okay. So this one should be relatively easy to finish off. Okay, she's gonna have three shields. Well, this one will attack him, but this two will attack her, so... Uh, we can remove that wound, although... Oh, the houndy boy. Right. So he attacked for eight. <laughs> right. Uh, we need to survive for like a whole bunch of more rounds. Yeah, we didn't really do this well, did we? Okay. Well, at least this was good. Okay, let's return two cards to the Craig Heart, who's just about to die. <laughs> so we can do another blind destruction. We actually get in that position though. Okay, now let's return what protective blessing and another extra turn. Okay, and let's burn. Ah, uh, no, that and that maybe. Okay, return a card to somebody. Well, we can return her bright ages, I guess. Oh yeah, those go as well. Hmm. Nice. Well, this one sucks without this arm, so let's remove that. Okay, miss. And you. Okay. A bear and a hound. Okay, so we actually closed the fort properly and... Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of animals spawning, so... Kill the shamans first and archers and then we should be golden if we fail this one. Okay, um, well this one should die for... So, let's do something about that. You... Well, you don't have the elements, but let's see. Hopefully she can pull this off like that. And... Mm. I have a new idea, like this failed obviously, but Tinker does have the jump somewhere I think please tell me I have the jump okay I have the jump so maybe we can build a small fort somewhere for Tinker to hide in from all these animals like I mean archers would still attack him but he can survive maybe a turn or something else so we can survive two turns with that and yeah then if we kill enough archers before things get super bad he can probably survive a lot a lot of time against the the, the others right can we create darkness that's the question now though yeah I don't think anyone really can I don't think we ever enchanted on her so 
we can only make so far here and we can do like we can create dark with dancing shadows oh we can go invisible again i guess prepare for the next turn it would be cool if you can actually kill this one but um, yeah, we could jump for six and attack for four we do have two curses though since we cannot prepare this turn to do a kill Yeah, my prioritization last turn was like a bit weird, but okay. Should have uh, killed the shamans first though, now I see it. Um, well, yeah, let's make a safe haven for the tinker, like down here maybe. So if you do a rock slide, we can throw a rock here, here, well. Then he can jump there and be safe for a bit. Yeah, I guess, uh, I think that's our best chance we get here. We have a normal archer there, which we can petrify. That's good. What's that? Archer elite. Okay. Rock slide. Well. We also do two damage to that one, which is good. So we do rock slide here, here, and I don't know. Now maybe here. Although that's not part of that plan we had, so. Well, maybe here as well. So if we can put it here later on, yeah, something like that. I don't know. We can also heal. We should probably do that. <laughs> um, you. So no chimeric formula this turn probably. So much HP though. That's insane. Yeah, let's do some healing, maybe. Okay. Well, we could go super slow and return one of her burn cards. Like that. So if they all go, then we can return this and do it the next turn as well. No. Let's try that. Well, we still don't know what we're doing with the... You can probably some, uh, stun one of the shamans. So let's uh, stun that one maybe. And create darkness. So next turn we can kill one normal enemy at least. Well, maybe this one here. I'll just pick up the chest to be done with that one. Um, yeah. Uh, we need a dark for next turn okay right well at least we go first so that's good you and all just tell us someone no damage this turn yes okay let's do that well things are starting to go right for us so that's nice Well, 
Can't touch this, right? Still plenty of rounds to survive though, so a bit scary. <laughs> it's so important to land the rocks first. I don't know why I didn't do it. I knew I had to do it and I still didn't, so... Well... Oh, is that an obstacle? Oh, we already have one obstacle there. Oh, that's nice. Um... Oh, we can also put the Tinker in there. Well, that's an idea. Although... This spot here is very, very farther for all the melas, from all the melas. So if you put it there, that's probably much, much better. Oh, we can also close it off like that. So they have to go all the way around. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's heal for two. Mm. Well, we are on what? Three. We have cards to burn, she doesn't, so... Okay. Oh, he actually sees a path there, that's interesting. Okay, retaliate, nice. Retaliate. Nice. Retaliate. Nice. Well, I see some builds I could do. Okay, so... Well, they all went, so we can remove that one. Let's just find it. Okay. And... We can remove the bright eye just but although I'm not sure. Okay, well let's return that for next round as well. Protective a blessing. Good. There we go. And let's return his uh, big stamina potion. There you go. Well, Oh yeah, we can return somebody's card. Uh, we can return... Come on. Uh, Bright Ages, yeah. So she can go fast again. Also, if she was not fast enough, there is a mission where we can pick up haste boots. So she can go on like initiative 4. Yeah, but we didn't get to that yet. Um, yeah, let's stun one of these for next turn. Although this one is very close to dying, might be a good idea to... Well, we'll do it at some point. Oh, that's interesting, okay. I'll shield self, well, more importantly create dark, so next turn we can... ...kill something. Okay, well... Another two melee enemies. Well, we might actually do this uh, if we keep up with. Uh, okay, protective blessing. Well, you can't go slow unless you do that. Oh, that's 75. There you go. Okay, so again, go slow, do a chimeric formula, return her the protective blessing. Well, we're running out of those, but rounds are going down, so that's good. Well, killing this archer is good. Uh, well, we can go 18, so go invisible, kill it. So then we only have what? couple of archers and stuff okay we'll finish this one off at some point or the other um, well 
We could do blind destruction and we could also buff it if we want. It will not be as good as the last one, but what do we even target though? I mean, killing these ones here is nice, but well, shaman is good target. So, well, he's gonna be dead. I can petrify something. Mm. Oh, maybe. We petrify what one, two, three, four. Do we have ranged attack? No, we don't. Okay, well, that's a, just a horrible fort. The cray card didn't even help in this one. Okay, well, you have your turn. You have your turn. So now the only question is do we try to kill the elite with this one and we can petrify one normal enemy, maybe? Yeah, if you kill this one, there's really nothing to petrify. Problem is, um, I'm not really in position. And we don't have the jump, so... I guess I removed that. So we are really limited on what we can do here. So we probably do a kill here, pick up that chest, go invisible. So we might as well try to do some um, blind destruction action here. Oh, it would be so nice to kill that one though. What vet though? Well, once everyone's dead here, he can jump over, kill him. Maybe. Tank this one a bit, wait for male enemies to come around all the way. Yeah, let's do blind destruction here, try to kill that one, and then here. Uh, well, this one will not die anytime soon, even with those two, so we'll need to do it once more. We could also do another rock slide, but if you do a rock slide, where do we do it? Um... Or we just kill that one. We can also increase the range and try to shoot down these archers here. That's also an idea. Not sure how do we make the air though, so that's a question. Um, yeah, we don't have any way to make air really, so that's not gonna work. Um, Let's kill. Well, this one is stunned. Can we kill? Well, there's only two shamans left. Okay. Well, we can kill a stunned one anyway if we want to. Um. Yeah, I don't know if I want to tank the, the archer shots, but let's see. Can I create a dark somehow for myself? Mm. Oh, we can return her the, 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 the potion. No, let's just go invisible, kill one normal archer, then next turn we can kill one elite shaman or something. 
if uh, she creates us the dark and she will because we're gonna return the potion here okay so let's uh, go invisible do that actually i will do the short rest now when only one of the two key cards is in my hand so oh we can push all the adjacent enemies well that's an interesting one actually but we're never gonna use that so spirit of the night and like go invisible okay so you hmm. now we can do some heals actually then if nothing else works well let's do blind destruction I mean it's better than anything right okay we want that so okay blind destruction brutal momentum here we go okay well, let's kill that one let's go invisible there we go She, let's make everyone invulnerable. Let's go with Retality again. Good. I don't think that really helps, but. Alright. Well, can't do it, dude. We are mobilized now, now though, so that's a bit uh, not good because at one point we're gonna wanna jump on the other side, so. That's something we have to also think about now, which is a bit annoying. Okay, well, how much HP do we have? Well, one more. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. And let's, well, let's go for this one for sure. And then the other one. Mm. Oh, we could try to clear this up a bit. I mean, like that. Well, this one is probably a better target actually. Well, okay. Well, thank God for that. Um, can we even push? Well, we can push. Oh, he's gonna get kicked. Okay. Well, let's try to get people out of here if we can. Although he should probably die anyway. Let's stack 12, really? Uh, should we take the 7 damage? Well, probably not, right? Yeah, let's remove... Well, maybe not that one. Ugh, such a hard decision though. No, that's alright. Well, okay, okay. We're getting somewhere. This store pretty low. They're gonna get retaliated on. Let's return some cards again. Okay. Well, use the wrong potion for it, but that's all right. Um. What does this do? Refresh all of your spent items. Ooh, we should have done that. Okay. We don't have any health, so let's not do it. Okay. So yeah, we'll have to free the <clears throat> Tinker to jump to the other side when the things become uh, 
Well. When the things become critical. Okay, well, let's do that on her then. So she should return. Oh no. I messed it up again. Uh, okay. Well, you don't have anything smart to return. Well, at least we don't go down in total number of cards, but that was not good. And we can't do that. Okay, we're silly. Okay, um, let's... Uh, well, let's try to kill something then. While we are at it. Well, just barely. One, two, three. Can't reach that one. Well, so maybe attack that shaman there, yeah. I mean, shamans are important to kill, so... Oh, another target. Oh, that's nice. Um, well, one of these, I guess. There you go. So what's our situation with the cards and such? Well, we used the major stamina potion, so we might as well do that. Although... Although... Okay. Well, that's gonna be our turn. Return the card. Yeah, righteous strength. No, we actually wanna return the other one, bright ages. Although we messed up, so we're gonna have to go without invulnerability for one turn, so okay, an archer, right. Um And we don't have the elements for him, so that's a bit annoying. But he can go like super slow, do a soul fire and create elements, and next turn he can go fast, kill something. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So what's the situation here? Well, one, two, three. We can try to kill these two at least. Now we can also do it with rock slide, actually. This one will die from rock slide. Okay, we can close this off. Okay, we're starting to stabilize here a bit, but she's gonna die now, I think. So, Bright Ages. Mm, we can return some of the two burnt cards. Well, that's an interesting uh, thing to do. I can stun something. Yeah, okay. Oh, we can give somebody an extra turn. Why would we do that? I'm not sure. Well, with our Tinker, I'm starting to think to go on this side here. Just to get ready for that. I think I'm done with invulnerability turns. So we have to survive six more turns. Two turns we survive basically automatically by um, using the invisibility and then that means four more and we still have people alive so although this turn will be a bit painful um so rock slide what's our hp at okay well we should do a rock slide and a heal if we can we can't heal so somebody else has to heal us well he can do it. Although we are getting in the dangerous territory here. If we decide to jump over. 
Hmm, disintegration beam. Well, that's interesting. What's your HP at 9? Oh, we could only kill that once. Uh, well, you have some cards to discard also for that uh, bleed, so... Looks eh. like... So if you do a fast rock slide, like 29 is probably alright. Tinker can like move here this turn. I'm gonna close it off a bit and... Tinker is gonna be relatively safe there, I think, at least. And then we can jump over. Relatively soonish. Well, we can come with Night Shroud here to block off this. So basically, we're only worried about ranged enemies here. Well, we have quite a few more left. So. Yeah, let's come here, do a restorative mist, and I think I'll do a stun shot on one of these. Okay, let's see what they do. Okay, they don't do anything, that's good. Shamans do an immobilize, okay. These ones don't do anything. Well, that's an unfortunate turn, if you ask me. <clears throat> Attack free. Yeah, well, she's gonna get a bit beaten up, but... We can take some more punishment here. Oh, just a tiny bit more. Well, okay, that's nice. Okay. So. Archers. Well, archers gonna attack for a lot, so this shield will come in handy. We could also go for this. Return a burnt card to our Tinker. Well, the hound will go. Well, this one's. Well, if we move away, it should be fine. Mm. But then, where does Stinker go? That's the question. And if we do that, we can't really move. So, and if we can't, if we do that, we can't move either. So, and, well, this one will kill, right? Well, no. Well, we could just stun the hound, I guess. Or what else could we stun here? Well, we could stun plenty of things, actually. But then we are like in crazy enemy territory. Oh, we are immobilized, so... <laughs> I scratch that. Okay. I skip movement, stun the dog. There you go. Uh, what's your HP at 2? Well, we could actually try to just kill him. Yeah, let's do that. Van vanilla turn. And what happened? We missed. Well, we are strengthened, but the game decided to take the most ridiculous choice. <laughs> right. Well, she's uh, getting close to being killed, so... So we'll see how long can the Tinker survive against so many archers on the map. And with not so many cards to speak of. Oh, we actually also have the boots of jumping, so I think I'll stun this one 
and then because it's also poison this one will just I don't know touch with something so it dies okay now we can return some cards now again well maybe chimeric formula I don't know why we didn't use it this turn but okay So if she can hold out for one more turn, well, can make formula also can give somebody like a card. So that's uh, maybe something we do, like the card outside of what they have selected here. Great cards turn. All right. Um, well, we could also heal if you want. Although I am interested in this actually. So we do that. We do. Oh, if you do that, we can do that. But we can do that and that. Yeah, so this one will get really close to dying. We can also do that for some reason, I don't know. Is that worth it though? Well, this one will die, right? And this will be closed off, so they will just be able to come through here. But there's one there and... Two enemies already inside the fort, so we don't do much with this, but for healing is also not that much either, so mm. what if we drop it here? Like here and here and here. Then at least the bear is trapped. I mean, we are open here, but this will damage her though for two, which is not ideal by any means. But the bear at least doesn't do anything, which is good in this situation. Well, Bear is not doing anything anyway, so... Too bad we can't kill that one. Well, or can we? Well, we could drop there if we move first. Well, we could like move there and... Yeah. Do all kinds of crazy things. Yeah, we could kill that one. Damage this one for a two. Okay, let's uh, let's do that. Um, let's kill that one. I think that's better than anything else, really. Oh, we're gonna damage him for one, but that's not important. Okay. All right. Oh well, now. Uh, we can tighten this up a bit more. We can kill him. So that's good. We can damage this one and him, but he's gonna be invisible for mo the rest of the game, I hope. So this one will, yeah, almost bleed out. This one's dead, so only this archer here to be concerned about. What does he do? Wound. Okay, we can jump over and stun next turn if you want. Well, I'm not sure about that one though. We should probably kill this one instead. Okay. Right. Well. Well, now we can maybe do avalanche here. I don't know if that will be good enough, but we can try. No, not avalanche, blind destruction. It's gonna be a bit slow though. Oh, 
Well, we gained some nice gold, if nothing else. <laughs> well, that one is unfortunate, though. So what do we want to do next turn? Well, we can uh, we can kill this one with petrify actually. Yeah, let's try it. Let's do that instead. Yeah, okay. So no blind destruction. Well, no brutal momentum, and for blind destruction, we'll see. Was that trap only free damage? Yeah, that's not good. Okay. Okay. Um. Well, the, what did we say so far? And then create the elements. Oh, somebody has to pick that up. Mm. So far, what? Well, this one is closed off now. Well, maybe we can stabilize here a bit. Let's see. We do have plenty of archers though, so that's probably not uh, realistic. So next turn we'll just kill off something. Uh, well, let's try, I guess. Because I don't have any other smart targets to do. Okay, I want to create dark here. No, not dark. Well, okay, it doesn't matter, but. Okay, well, next turn we can do like. It's, it's followed by fear, yeah. Okay. Pick up the chest, maybe. I don't know. Something, something. We could have done this a lot better. Okay, what happened here? Well, maybe another archer, I'm not sure. Okay, well. Let's take a card so we can uh, tank more, but I think we are pretty much done with him. And then you two. I can go fast. I can also return him the card. That's not bad. Well, I think it's probably time to jump over now. So, stun shot to jump over. Well, we can also jump over with the toxic bolt and stun shot that one. She'll return us the card. We jump over and we'll leave her to die here and tank a bit more, I guess. Okay, you, well, you should go kind of fast. Go invisible, kill something. We're gonna need elements, we don't have elements, so... So I guess... Uh, next turn we just go invisible again, something. Okay. But, I don't know, we can kill something here, well, him. Okay, if bear goes first, that's a bit unfortunate. Yeah, okay, well, at least we have a card to discard. Well, that's also not good. Um, they have... S okay. Yeah, I think we just return a bunch of cards to the Tinkerer and wish him luck here. Okay, we cannot return that one, so... Good luck, Tinkerer. <laughs> So, go over, well, see you later, <laughs> stun that one, there you go, and let's heal with a small one I think, okay, 
our commando in chief. Well, you're dying shortly, so. <laughs> well, at least we can kill one of the archers, that's good. Let's pick up that chest. Um. So what's inside the chest, you might ask? Well, let's see. In the chest... Curious gear. The ringer turned his arm all traps within range too. Well, that's... Uh, interesting. Or... Crap. <laughs> well, that's bad. Oh, we still have a card to burn. Well, that's good then. And I think actually I'm gonna heal the the night shroud here. Uh, well, we could kill an archer, alternatively. So what's more useful? Let's see. Well, night shroud has some cards to discard still, and yeah, well, we don't have that many turns left, like five only. So three. We survive three turns, then he goes invisible, and that's it. So if we kill an archer, we make it much easier for uh, for our dude here. Yeah, that's a plan, I guess. Yeah, okay, let's kill an archer. Well, we didn't close off, that's good, because that would be cheating, basically. Okay, we're gonna do that, do one more damage to this dude here. So... Okay, so he's basically also dead. Okay, good. The price was high, but I think we'll manage. Okay, burn to discard cards as well. She's also dead, so. And they are, they are starting to go for uh, our Tinker here. Round seven. So a bear and a wolf. Okay, so the spawns are pretty easy actually. No, no, uh, mostly no ranged enemies. So, uh, well, I should probably drop down a stun trap here for the first melee that comes in and stun this one. So, let's get our stun back. Well, I said let's go get our stun back. Okay, so. Stun shot and the stun trap. Okay, we can take two ranged attacks. Well, we can take a bunch of ranged attacks. Well, this is pretty much over, so we do a short rest here. Well, okay. Um, so this turn we should go like slow, create some elements, discard a card for damage. That's all right. Uh, destroy the card for a wound. And then next turn we can go fast and try to kill something, but I don't think that's gonna be necessary. Well, not too much anyway. Right, well, we could have done this way, way better. Well, we are not done yet, but I'm confident. Because number of ranged enemies is really not high and... And we have our trap to protect us here. Oh, this was a good plan. I like it. That's like the only good thing I did in this whole mission. Everything else was like just a bunch of uh, half ideas and blunders, if you ask me. All right, that's not good. Things like that might throw a wrench in our plan, but uh, well, I guess it's a good thing we killed some of those. Okay, that's an archer. Um, let's start burning our cards, I guess. So, well, we don't have allies, so let's do that. Mm. Well, this might get a bit tricky still. Okay, let's do that. This might still get a bit tricky. No, 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 let's burn a card. Okay. Uh, Mm, 
let's bring that one. So yeah, we want to... Well, we took Swallowed by Fear even though we can't use it. Oh, that's a... That's a crazy play. Um... So what can we even try to kill here? Oh, I don't know. So let's create dark for next turn. Well, we're gonna create dark anyway, so that. Oh, that's how we create wind, okay. I was wondering about that. Oh, we can stun the bear, I guess. For whatever reason. Okay, two archers still, so we have to survive this round and we should then we should be alright. I think so. Um Right, well we can heal probably, yeah. Yeah, we probably should heal. Go fast, heal. And you, well, you should go as fast as you can and kill an archer if you can, but things are not looking good. Oh, what's that? Free damage. So if you short rest, we can do Swallowed by Fear that and use these two cards to take the wound and this and kill an archer and that's gonna be it for the, for our Shadow Dude hit. Here, night shroud. Okay. Well, they don't do anything. That's good. So. Okay. Oh, we took the damage. Now we're just gonna restart this round. Uh, I definitely didn't want to do that. That was a misclick. I had cards ready for that. So yeah, it's gonna be close. I mean, Tinker still has some cards to burn, but not many. And yeah, well, it has some HP to also soak. But yeah. I wanna kill one archer just to make things a little bit less uh, crazy. Okay, so we did what that and heal and you did a short rest. Okay, and go fast, follow by fear, okay. Right, burn a card. Okay, so we move here. We burn another card. We kill an archer. And there we go. I think this one kills us now, or oh, they just do the shield and retaliate it. Okay. Well, our oh, wolf's gonna kill us. No, we're gonna tank the archer shot. Oh, that's super fortunate. Okay. Oh, this one's gonna hit us. Oh, that's not a lot of damage, so let's take it. And we actually survived the shot. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, let's heal here. So I'm thinking about this, but probably not. So so we have to survive round 7, 8, 9 and 10. So four more rounds, we can survive two with the cloak. So let's do that. Well, we basically survived this one and then three more. So yeah, we should be fine. Oh, we have some of the cards to the burn. Okay, oh. <laughs> right, so fast. Well, he did a lot in this one. Okay, this one is stunned, so next turn we are safe here. So just next turn, and then the turn after, if we go fast, we just go invisible, and that's it. Uh, well, I see. Well, there's an archer. Okay. Um. Uh, we could do a short rest. 
well, maybe not that one, but I also don't want to lose stuns, so let's do a stun shot and... That doesn't matter, let's go fast. So we have to strike this turn, next turn we go invisible, and then last turn we just go last. Okay. Mm. Well, this is kind of scary, but what is you, what are you doing? Attack four. Okay, well, I'm not gonna attack anyone, dude. That's just not allowed. Okay, well. At least these turns are now fast, we have only one person left and I guess archers are just clogged up. Well we'll see. Range five, well they can reach us, so let's uh, brace for impact I guess. Well that we can take. Our commando tinker does it What? Round ten? It's not round ten. Oh, we have to survive 10 more rounds, so it's like we have to survive until the end of uh, round 11. Okay, well, uh, let's do a short rest here. Uh, and that's actually fine, we're going visible this round, right? So we can burn that. So we do that. Okay. Just hope to survive until we go invisible and that's it, okay. Well, see you later, alligator. So we are invisible until the end of our next turn, so we just do a long rest and we're done. <laughs> that was a good plan. I'm glad I took the invisibility cloak, otherwise this would be one big mess. Ah, so much gold though. Such a shame. Oh, you're done already? I counted wrong then, okay. Well, as you're still not dead, the remaining Inox fall back disheartened. It seems you have won the day, so I'm like hiding, looking at their traps and like, where's that thing here? And then they just give up and leave. Uh, happy. Or they thought we, they just killed everyone, right? And then the Tinker just hid in the shadows and waited. Okay, next time I suggest we deal with people who make traps. Just tell me to shut up. Okay. Right. Well, crack hard that did a lot of damage uh, to one crazy mission though. Well, I'm glad it's over and I'm glad we did it in the first try. Usually we don't do this kind of missions in first try, but this time we came prepared right away, so... I think this hasn't ended up so bad after all, I agree. The gear in the chest should allow us to easily disarm more traps in the future. Right. Oh. Well... Sunkeeper's level 9 now, so that's exciting, kind of. And yeah, we got a new item. Okay, cool. So next time we'll do another scenario. Um, well, this one's next, so... We got some ranged enemies now, so we're gonna make a balance group, I guess. But let's try to do it without nines, probably. Uh, but anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you liked our guerrilla uh, tactics. As always, have a beautiful day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.